Hello, my crafty friends. Okay, so today, my 15 minutes, I'm going to make another one of these eggs. But, you know how it is in life when you find something out about somebody and then it seems like every where you look, then you see something that reminds you of them. So, that's what happened in this case. So, this person, and I hope they're not going to see this, but if they do, <laughs> it'll just be a pinch of a surprise for. So, anyway, this person loves violets. So, what are the odds that I had this rabbit sitting in a basket of violets? What are the odds? I don't know. But to me it said, you know what you got to do. And so here I go. So what I've done, I stuck him on a piece of purple and I made the outside of my egg just like before. And then I cut out my leaves in green and my flowers in purple. And so now I'm going to use my markers instead of watercoloring. I'm going to color with these markers. And, um, you know, there's all kinds of ways to change things up. You don't always have to start with white. I mean, in some cases, the colors will show up better, obviously, if you start with white. But not always, necessarily. Alright, so the same green that I use on these, I'm going to use on my leaves. Because I'm hoping that it'll be when it dries, you know. Just enough. Okay, let me look at my time. Okay. Um, Bessie's trying to get the grins. Um, to sleep. So, otherwise she'd be on here with me and be in my timer. But, you know, when being a granny calls, in her case, a granny. Y'all know in my case, a toots. So, I'm going to let that dry and I'm just going to keep going with these. And some of them I want to... I'm going to use the back side because, you know, I don't want every leaf facing the same direction. And in this particular die set, uh, there's only one leaf. So, I'm going to already cut them out, so this is how it's going down. So, it just came a monsoon here. They had said it's like 75 and there's a cold front coming through and tomorrow night we're, we have a frost warning. So, you know, big changes in the weather again. And then by the weekend, it's going to warm back up. And y'all, I have to tell you this, this morning... I was trying to get the kids rallied out the door. And uh, so my kitchen and hearth room is all windows across the back of the house. And um, so you can see, the you know, in the backyard. And Lily was like, Tots, there's ducks out there. And um, I said, how where? She said, in the yard. There's two ducks out there just, just playing. In the yard. And I was like, what? And she said, yeah, they just went that way. So I have um, where my koi fish usually are. You know, they're inside right now. But uh, there's, um, you know, a pond. And then around that pond, I have horsetail. And if y'all don't know what horsetail is, it's like a, it's kind of like a bamboo. But it's only, they're all about the size of your little finger. They don't get to be huge trees or anything like that. So, um. I couldn't see them for the horse's tail. 
And so, you know, of course, she wanted to go running outside. And I said, wait, let's just go out the front door. And then we can look through the gate. And maybe I can make a picture of them. And so I slipped around there, you know. And um, sure enough, a male and female mallard just out there having a big old time. I was like, oh, my goodness. So I got a picture of them. And um, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool surprise this morning you know first thing so if you are coloring on a color and it doesn't blend like you want it to get you another color that's lighter than your paper and I know that doesn't look like anything right now just give it a minute What this does is it blends it, blends the color that you put on there into the original green. And because this is lighter, actually, than the paper, when it, when it dries completely, it'll even out those um, shading lines. See how much better that's looking? So, oh, and then I went to, I had to go, okay, so my, our crazy dogs, we started feeding them dog food with pumpkin, chicken, and rice. And they are so much healthier. I can see such a huge difference. So anyway, just Regular canned pumpkin, not pumpkin pie mix. Regular canned pumpkin. So I had to go get some. So, of course, I had to go to um, Hobby Lobby because, you know, <laughs> that's what one does. One goes to Hobby Lobby when they're out and about. So I went and got the pumpkin. Then I went to Hobby Lobby, and I found some of the watercolor paper that they had marked down 75% off. And, um, what else did I find? Just, oh, I did find a Jane Davenport coloring book that the pages can be taken out of and used for, you know, whatever. Projects or journals or, but they're, they're, they're real simple pictures. So, I think they'll be fun for a whole lot of things. So, I'm pretty excited about that. They have wacky animals all in them. You know, I do love myself a wacky animal. And the girls all have wild hair. And, you know, I've got some mom to share of that, too. So... What's been going on in my world today? Oh, I also got some of the hot glue. If y'all use hot glue like I use hot glue, Sabrina, the Misfit Crafter, showed on her channel that she found it's packs of 50 mini sticks for $1.49. And they have it at the register. And y'all, once again, my Hobby Lobby, you know, they've the craft section's getting smaller and smaller. We used to have a glue section that was a... Uh, it was probably a quarter of an aisle that had all kinds of glue, all types of glue. Well, now, after this last markdown and they've rearranged things and stuff, it's about a six-foot-long section. That's it. So, anyway, I got myself quite a bit of glue because at $1.49 for 50 sticks, you know, if you're lucky, 
And these are the skinny sticks. If you're lucky, you can find them at the Dollar Tree and you either get 18 in a pack or 20 if you're lucky. Well, this is 50, so more than double for 49 cents more. So, you know, that's a deal, my friends. So, how much time have I got? Oh, I still got five minutes. That's good. Alrighty. Let's get another color of purple in here. wonder if this one's going to be too dark. Let's use it on the one that's closed up the tightest. Oh no. That's going to be beautiful. I didn't have any purple Copics. And when we went to St. Louis, I actually got to go in a Blick art store for the first time. And... Nikki bought me some markers for a happy. And it was sure enough a happy, let me tell you. And I had some purples that were, um, uh, these from, um, Tuesday morning Spectrum Noir. But their colors are they weren't true purples. They were purple on the red side. Almost, truly and honestly, almost in the pinks. So, that was, that was not... Sometimes you need a purple, a true purple. And I have found that now I, that I have purple, I'm reaching for it a lot more. And I, I don't think it's just because I have it. I think it's because it's a color that... I mean, I know I really like it, but... Um, you know, it was a good addition to my collection. I needed it. That's what I'm trying to say. I just needed it. So... I'm hoping that this person doesn't think, oh my gosh, she's lost her mind. <laughs> well, you know, that can be said too. Definitely can. All right. So, let's see how I want to do this. I think I cut too many leaves. Because I'm thinking... Thinking, thinking, thinking. Alright. Start sticking these things on here. And then, you know, I'm going to, uh, I don't want to make it so it'll sit. Um, I'm going to cover the sugar part with, um, diamond dust. That's it. Okay, now before I do this, I should have added some Some little touches of white. Because these leaves are shiny. Come on, Pam. I just want a little. It's tricky. There we just a 
I'm just gonna here and there because sometimes these have uh, very light edges and sometimes they don't sometimes they just have little little places here and there and sometimes they're just so dark purple that they don't have that's it they're dark purple and they are just the most yummy dark purple ever Okay, now I've hit my time limit. So, I guess I will finish this, and then I will come back and show y'all. So, what I'm going to do is, when I come back, um, I will have diamond dusted it. And I want to find a ribbon that color. I hope I have a satin ribbon because that's what I think needs to go up here. I think that would be beautiful just to tie it all together. So anyway, I'll come back and show you my finished product. And then maybe with that one, I'll also show you... Oh, I did another one earlier today. So I'll show you that one too. Okay, I love you guys. Blessings. <laughs>